Miller from Cranford, New Jersey. So continuing on what Jamie was saying, if you remember one thing that I say tonight, please remember this. The future health of the Watchung Reservation has nothing to do with bikes or hikers or trail runners or horses. It has everything to do with sustainably built and regularly maintained trails. As always, we at Jorba are here for your service. We hope we can lend substantial knowledge and volunteer resources to create and maintain these trails. So on the heels of that, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit tonight about the uh, rousing topic of trail erosion and uh, invasive species. The uh, preservation of Watchung Reservation is not about disputes and mudslinging between hikers and bikers. It's about fighting erosion and invasive species in an environment that we all know and love and want to protect. It's why you see many of us here meeting after meeting, speaking with you, the freeholders. We all agree that we love the reservation, albeit slightly differently, but the key is we want to spend more time with our family and friends and children and pets out on the trail. The National Parks Conservation Association states, and I quote, although some mountain bikers may be reckless, speedy, and inconsiderate, every group does have its bad apples. The majority don't actually look that different from other trail users. They're parents with kids, conservationists who work with nonprofits, and volunteers who dictate entire weekends to restoring trails. And in most cases, the experience they seek isn't so different from that of a hiker or equestrian. So as tempting as it might be to shoe mountain bikers on the flat, dusty roads, it's also risk, a risk alienating a group of people that the Park Service might want in its corner someday. A group that understands what it takes to design safe, sustainable trails. A group that really stated to prove itself in the past uh, couple years as a conservation partner. Currently, the Union County Chapter of Jorba has over 100 interested and active volunteers for Watch On. Jorba has committed from the beginning to remove any invasive species found along the proposed mountain bike trails, both during construction, as well as during any future proposed trail maintenance sessions. This is a practice that should be adopted by all trail stewards within Watch On Reservation. Within the reservation, the existing proliferation of invasive species cannot be contributed to mountain bikers, or hikers for that matter. Although there have been a recent set of alternative facts that have been floating around media and social media, uh, blaming mountain bikers for everything from invasive species to erosion, um, there's, no, there's no science behind it to back that up. There are, however, studies that show invasive species are more likely to be spread by those trail users <coughs> that go off trail into the undergrowth, especially off leash dogs and horses as they see it stick to their fur. One of the major factors in the spread of invasive species is erosion, which is caused via disturbed soil. As Jamie brought up before, we know Watch Home's got erosion issues. A lot of it has to do with trail design and not so much trail usage. Science does back that up. Invasive species proximity to existing trails can cause seed vectoring or movement by attaching to trail users. So when your trails get overgrown and people have to push their way through, they're more of a, a vessel to move seeds around the park. Additionally, when it rains, those seeds are then carried downhill because of the erosion issues and trail designs. According to the New Jersey Invasive Species Strike Team website, when addressing invasive plant species, there's a critical link between deer overabundance and the proliferation of invasive species. Many native species are preferred deer forage or deer food when invasive species are largely impacted. In order to gain control over invasive plants, the problem needs to be addressed through active deer manager programs, which the county already has, to keep reducing the herd size. The long-term goal is to establish an ecological control where the native plants are able to overcome and outcompete the invasive plants diminishing the invasive um, ecological impacts at the reservation. It stands to reason that if the trails are properly maintained, the occurrence of invasive species will be limited by two factors. First, the risk of invasive species attaching to trail users will be limited as they'll be removed and trimmed back where, where necessary. And the second is eliminating the risk of, or the uh, cause of erosion rather, by having a properly designed trail system. Another point that hikers and bikers can agree upon is that minimally impacting the wildlife um, in the Watchung Reservation uh, is, is a key stake here. Um, most of the impact that wildlife will have, if any, is during the creation of uh, the new trail system. But quite frankly, the generalization that new trails are going to eradicate species from Watchung Reservation is a bold assertion without any basis in fact. However, it has been scientifically proven that once established, trails have a negligible impact on wildlife. Again, these trails are the width of your handlebars, the width of my shoulders. We're not talking about paved roads. Thank you very much. <laughs>